Hamilton County's health commissioner says we are within 12% of the region's vaccination goal. Well, tonight, he also says using coincidence as a strategy is key to going further. For proof, advocates took us to Lincoln Heights. And reporter Larry Seward is there live. All right, Larry, what's moving the needle? Tanya pop-ups. We saw a bus pull up and park right here. Crews hop out. Then they opened up this basketball court where you see kids playing and opened up opportunities that people line up for increasingly with more open minds. Yolanda Robinson. It wasn't that bad at all. Got her first COVID-19 shot by coincidence. They've been on me about getting it done. Here with her kids for help with their utility bill. Months of pressure from those teens and Robinson's dad broke through when nearby nurses offered free vaccine. They came up again, so I might as well go on and get it done because I had planned on doing it. No use and keep putting it off. I just want the best for my mom and I don't want anything bad to happen to her. In Hamilton County, 68% of people over 12 are partially vaccinated, fourth highest in the region behind Kentucky's Kenton, Campbell and Boone counties, which boast percentages at or above 80, which is the health collaborative's goal for the region. And the boost from this bus symbolizes how Health Commissioner Greg Kesterman hopes to get there. We know not everyone is excited about getting vaccinated, and if we make it easy for them and provide the opportunity for education, then hopefully eventually they'll arrive at the decision that the vaccine is right for them. With money from the county and others. I decided at 37 weeks pregnant that I wanted to become vaccinated. The Center for Closing the Health Gap saturated social media with vaccine promos, reaching tens of thousands. Their We Must Save Us campaign also mailed this letter, signed by 55 black physicians to almost 16,000 homes and zip codes with the lowest black and Latino vaccination rates. We've got convenience and resources and we're bringing it directly to the people. County Commissioner Alicia Reese is behind a key piece too. The 513 relief bus brings free Wi-Fi, help with rent, job leads, and vaccine clinics to the same areas. Maybe we get someone who wants utility and rental assistance, but while they're there, they're like, man, the shot is right here. I can talk to someone right here. It worked for Robinson and enough others that advocates think it's key to ending the pandemic. In Lincoln Heights, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.